got to get my dad's watch man back. Forget about it, Romeo. Mr. Hightower put that thing in his briefcase. Nothing ever comes out of that thing. It's like the Bermuda rectangle. <laughs> okay, I just have a few more things I need to put in the car. Regina, we've already made two trips to the car. Who I look like, the brother in Amistad? I wish. What? This is our chance. Yeah. For what? I mean to get the TV out of his briefcase. Now the car's probably open. You be the lookout. Whistle if you see Mr. Hot Tower. Word. You do know how to whistle, don't you? Are you kidding? I come from a long line of construction workers. <laughs> I'm out. Yo, see if you can find that fake vomit he took from me last semester. Gina, what the hell is all of this? Look, I have to make a slide presentation to show how much our teachers deserve a wage increase. Oh, okay, that's different. Pull it here. What you standing there for? Open the door. Now, Stanley, you know there's no eating in the hallways. These will be good for the road. <laughs> I can't go any further, Regina. Can't see past the front of the car. Well, I bet it's clear on the highway. You know that big road with all the lights and the snow plow. You're the one that said we were running late. I just tried to take a shortcut here to save us some time. Besides, there ain't nothing moving in this. Fine. Let's just turn on the radio. It's a terrible storm, but the road crews have done a great job keeping the highways open. Only an idiot would be caught in a back road in this weather. <laughs> Hey, you know, we gotta conserve power here. You know, we just gonna have to wait this thing out. Mm -hmm. Well, you lucky I brought my cell phone and my AAA card. Unlike some people, Regina Greer is always prepared. Well, uh, Miss Always Prepared, would you happen to have a men's room in your purse? <laughs> well, then you're gonna have to excuse Big Daddy. I'm gonna go outside and write help in the snow. <laughs> Where is that AAA tow truck? Oh, great. Now the battery is out in my cell phone. We could be stuck here for hours. Regina, relax. Big Daddy got a little something to help keep you occupied for a couple of hours. Let me pull it out. <laughs> Mr. Hightower. I'm just getting the watchman. Sorry to disappoint you. Look, you want something to drink to warm you up? I guess it'll be OK since we're not doing any more driving. Great. Because I got my mailman's Christmas bottle of Kahlua in the back seat. And I decided not to give it to him because I caught him tearing the beauty of the week out of my Jen magazine. Oh, look. Bodyguard is on. I love this movie. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, try that. That'll keep it nice, warm, and toasty. It's freezing. It's going to take more than this to get me warm. Oh, well, maybe you need a little body heat to watch the bodyguard. <laughs> well, I got a blanket in the back somewhere. <laughs> Here you go. Come on, let Big Daddy warm you up. Uh, look, even if I wasn't with Warrington, I would not get under that blanket. Regina, this is about survival. This ain't a booty blanket. <laughs> but then again, if you're afraid you can't control yourself leaning against this ripped body, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Break me off some of that blanket. <clears throat> well, look at here. Piggy in a blanket. <laughs> you gotta admit, this is kind of romantic. Mm-hmm, it sure is. You want me to tell you a little story? Sure do. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a fair maiden whose name was Lorena Bobbitt. Okay, point made, just point made. Let's just watch the movie. 